Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to subtract in scientific notation. So let's get started. Rule number one. In order to subtract, the exponents need to be the same. Rule number two. As if you move the decimal uh, to the left, in other words, the uh, number is getting smaller, the exponent gets larger. And if the number gets larger, then the exponent gets smaller. So let's apply this, okay? So I think what I'll do is I have a 5.2 times 10 to the 4th and a 10 to the 3rd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the 3rd to the 4th. So I'll need to move the decimal one place to the left. So here's what I end up having. I have 5.2 times 10 to the 4th, and then I have 0 0.72 times 10 to the 4th because I have moved the decimal one place to the left. So I'm going to add 1 to the 3. Then all I do is subtract that. That becomes 8. Got to borrow 1. So this becomes a 4. And had to borrow 1 from there. So it comes becomes 4.48 times 10 to the 4th. Now in this one, I'll move the decimal in the opposite direction. So let's get started. I have 6.3 times 10 to the 5th, 5.1 times 10 to the 3rd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this number larger so this will get smaller. So I'm going to move it two places um, to the right so it becomes 630 times, and I'm going to subtract 2 to the 10 to the 5th so it becomes 10 to the 3rd, and then this will be 5.1 times 10 to the 3rd. So let me rewrite this so it's not so messy. So I have 630.00. Actually, I don't need the second zero. And 5.1. Okay, let me get rid of this. Okay, so that becomes 9. This becomes 4. I have to borrow one here. 2. 624 times 9 times 10 to the third. Now, another rule is in scientific notation, this first number needs to be, the number needs to be 0 and 10. So I need to move the decimal two places to the left. So I'm going to move the place 1, 2, so it becomes 6.249. And now since I moved it two places to the left and the number got smaller, the exponent will get larger. So it becomes 10 to the fifth because I moved the decimal places two places to the left. So I add 2 to the 3, and so that becomes two. Um, 6.249 times 10 to the fifth. Now let's work two more. Okay, in this one, I have a 10 to the fourth and a 10 to the third. I think what I'll do is raise this 10 to the third one, so I'll need to move the decimal in this direction and make this number smaller. So I'm going to have 34 times, I'm going to move it over here so I can subtract, and then I have, let me put a 0, 0, and then I have point. 2, 1 times 10 to the 4th. What I've done is I've moved the decimal one place to the left, made it smaller, so I need to add 1 to this exponent. I then just subtract. This will become a 9. Uh, this will be a 7. This will be 3. And then this will be 3. Also, 3, 3, 7, 9 times 10 to the 4th. Now, this number is not between 0 and 10, so I need to move the decimal one place to the right, so it becomes 3.379 times, and remember, I made it smaller, so I'm going to add 1 to the 4, because I moved the decimal one place to the left. When you go to the left, the exponent gets larger. And last but not least, the very last one, let's see if we can't work this, we have 9.7. 10 to the 5th, and then we have a 10 to the 3rd. I think what the easiest thing to do on this one, I'm going to move the decimal two places to the right, so this will get smaller, so this becomes 970 uh, times, uh, it, I move the decimal one, two places to the right, so I'm going to subtract two from the five, so that becomes 10 to the 3rd, and then this will be 5.1 times 10 to the 3rd. Okay, I'm going to add a 0 there so you can look at it. Okay, this becomes a 9. I'm going to borrow 1 from there. Remember the decimal. This becomes a 4. This becomes a 6. This becomes a 9 times 10 to the 3rd. You can already see I'm not between 
0 and 10, so I need to move the decimal 1, 2 places to the left, which means the number is getting smaller. So I'm going to add to it, so it's 9.649 times add 2 to the 3, which equals 5, so it would be 10 to the 5th. Because remember, I moved the decimal two places to the left, so I need to add 2 to this exponent. I hope that helped in subtracting with scientific notation. Remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.